So here's a question that I was asked on the internet, and I think it actually proves a lot of things about tension. We have an electronic scale, a 500 gram mass connected with a rope to a 100 gram mass, and then there's a spring a scale holding up the entire thing. Uh, that would be attached to the top, of course. Now I'm going to work in just grams. I realize that we should convert it to kilograms and then to newtons, but this is going to be much easier for us to think in grams. Well, here we have a 100 gram mass that is not moving, so therefore this must be mg. We're just going to call that 100 grams though. So this tension here must be 100 grams. Well, since the tension in a rope is the same everywhere, this must be 100 grams, which means for this object, there's 100 grams pulling up and 500 grams pulling down due to gravity. So this right here should read the difference, which is 400 grams because the rope pulls up. But what about this scale up above? This rope pulls down with 100 grams. This pulls down with 100 grams, giving us 200 grams to show that ropes always pull. Even though this object here is initiating the tension, in all objects, the rope pulls. Now let's go see this in the lab. Off. Are we going? So now we have this exact setup here. Here we have the pulley, we have a spring scale, and we have the masses. So the first thing that I did here, if you want to show this to your students, is I pulled this, pulled this up and I zeroed it to zero grams. That's, that, that's the same way of saying that the, the pulley has no mass, so I've zeroed it out. Then I turn this on, and this now reads zero grams. If the small mass is not pulling up, it should read 500 grams. Well, now I put the pulley, the, the mass over the pulley, and you'll notice it now reads 400 grams. Now there's also other things going on, like with a rope. And now let's look up here, and this says 200 grams. So let's follow the logic down here. We, oh, sorry, right here. So we have 100 grams, which is basically not moving, so it's in static equilibrium. So there's 100 grams down, tension must be 100 grams. Since tension in a rope or a string is the same everywhere, this must be 100 grams up, 500 grams down, the difference being 400 grams on the scale. Here, since there are two ropes pulling down, the tension in this rope to balance those must be 200 grams. This proves two concepts vital to statics and forces. One, the tension in a rope is the same everywhere. Number two, ropes only pull.